I want people to realize that biodiversity is just as important as climate change, if not more. I want people to engage themselves in the protection of biodiversity for the future of our planet. The ongoing deterioration of natural environments around the world, together with climate change, are rapidly reducing the world's biological diversity. Alexandre Antonelli and his research team at the University of Gothenburg want to highlight the importance of mapping, understanding and protecting biodiversity. Maybe we don't need every single uh, species of fly in a forest, but at some point uh, we may disrupt the, the system so that the whole ecosystem will collapse. A biologically diverse ecosystem also supplies us with food and medicine. There are many species that we haven't found yet. We think there are about 8 million species in the world and uh, we've just found 1 million of those. And the next cure for cancer or HIV or one of the diseases that are affecting us today might be one of those species. I was born and grew up in Brazil, which is the world's most biodiverse country. And since I was a kid, I was seeing those beautiful morpho butterflies, blue and big, flying towards me in the Atlantic rainforest. And although I'm very fascinated by them now, I wasn't really aware that they were something very unique. To be able to measure biodiversity, the researchers collect samples mainly from South America, Africa and Sweden. They take thousands of samples of plants, soil and insects. And it's in the Gothenburg Botanical Garden that they gather the seeds and living plants from their journeys. So this is one of the plants I collected when I was doing field work in Brazil. And this is from 2011. And there are about 1,500 species of begonias worldwide. Many of them are very threatened and very restricted to one particular region. We bring those specimens back because they provide a very high quality material for DNA studies. And this allows us to also describe new species from specimens cultivated here in the greenhouses. So this is a insect trap. It's also called a malaise trap, which is basically a tent and any insects that are flying here in the landscape will hit the net. And then if they come from this side, they'll hit the net and then they'll fly upwards. And the only place where they can get out is this bottle, which is filled with ethanol. Take this one, and this is a bottle of insects that were collected through the, the insect traps. And in this bottle, there is uh, alcohol with many different insects. What we do here is that we take a little bit of the alcohol and we extract DNA. And we actually have DNA from all different species that are found in this place. And in this way, we can also quantify how many species there are where we put up the molest trap. The researchers compare the DNA they find with sequences produced by other scientists, which allows them to identify the various organisms in their samples. DNA also tells how species are grouped together, where they come from, and which regions across the planet have the highest genetic diversity. But they also take help from the public. We're also developing a mobile application which allows any citizen to document uh, different sightings of species. So for instance, if you find a nice f a flower in the forest or a fungus, or if you see a bird, you just um, upload this observation on, your, on the system and get help with the ident identification. We're living in one of the worst mass extinctions of species that has ever gone through this planet. If we know more about where species are and what their needs are, we we'll also be able to better design strategies to conserve biodiversity while sustaining human development. Mm -hmm.